unfortunately, we don't get a whole lot of time to do it. <laughs> so now we're out here in the rain with some lovely store-bought cupcakes. We'll see if we can smash them. we do competition and take it seriously. We're gonna blow up this stuff with a shotgun better than the guys. Let's go. You missed it. I know. <laughs> I was, I was rolling. a little bit. Maybe that's our problem. Oh, same spot. Why do we keep hitting? Oh, you nicked it. <laughs> Damn. One more time. How many shells you got in there? That's probably it. Yep. <laughs> I just had to show in there. I'm ready now. Oh, this competition's not gonna be scared. There you go. There you go. Do what he did, so that way it. Oh, yeah, I gotta rack it again. Alright, come on, Amy. Hit that other one now. Hit that one. Woohoo! We can hit there. targets. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is Sean. This is this is Sarah's uh, baby daddy. All right, let's check out the damage here. Flower didn't make it, boxes didn't make it, and all that. Amy, and I'm Sarah. We're from Amazing Cakes. Simply amazing. Welcome to Next Great Baker Cribs. Yo. <laughs> this is our kitchen. This is where all the magic happens. It's a bit of a mess. We bake a little in the 1980s oven. Time. No reading out, no digital display anymore, no timer, <laughs> and I got a coil going bad. It works. I got a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Doesn't fit anything better, bigger than a 10-inch cake in it. So let's go downstairs. Watch your step. Show us we can get around with a big cake. We can get it through a doorway, up a hill, down the steps, on an elevator, and in the back of a truck. Watch the shoes, they're always at the front door. Watch the toys, because this is where the kids play all the time. Watch the 
construction zone, we had a flood this summer. We're still remodeling. And there's my cake fridge. Fit quite a bit in there, and if I need to, I take it over to her house. All the lovely storage as well. Alright, it's time for our challenge. You ready? We're ready. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, and you got it. Give us five minutes and it will be a hundred times better. Action. I'll get to those flowers and that cake in a minute. I gotta finish my level. I'm on 447. Soon to be 448. Candy Crush. Love it. The most interesting thing about me is where I work. I'm a juvenile detention supervisor. Maximum security for up to 56 kids. Due to legal reasons and confidentiality, I couldn't go into the building. But at least I have a pair of toy cuffs to play with later. Introduce yourselves, name, age, and where you're from, and how long you've lived there. Uh, my name is Amy Harding. I am from Flint, Grand Blanc area originally, and I've lived in Midland the last five years, and I'm 30 years old. And I'm Sarah. Um, I am born and raised in Midland, Michigan. I have lived here my entire life. Um, people say that's a blessing. Um, sometimes I wonder if it's a curse. And I'm 32 years old. What do you do for a living? 
Um, I am a juvenile corrections supervisor for a county nearby. Mm -hmm. um, I. What are the best and worst things about your job? Um, the best things are I get to work with some pretty awesome people. Uh, worst are sometimes the stories that follow the kids that enter the facility. And for you? Can you answer the or read the question again? <laughs> I was. What do you do for a living? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, I work for the Dow Chemical Company here in Midland. Um, I am part of the supply chain group. Um, we schedule customer orders, uh, make sure that they're on time. Well, what are the best and worst things about your job? Uh, the best thing about my job... I don't know, I don't work there. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about my job is that I start a new job in December. Um, the, the worst part about my job is that it is a very um, stressful, high pace, um, you always have somebody barking at you to do something. Um, it, it can be fun, but it's also very stressful. Do you have your own cake business? If yes, tell us about it. We do. Yes. We started about three years ago. Um, we started Amazing Cakes to make a little extra money on the side. and. Yep. Uh, do just—it's—it's it's an artistic outlet from our normal, busy, hectic lives. Yeah. How did you get it started? Uh, we went to down to the county and filed for a DBA, and that was it. Right. It's rocked since then. I remember we put an ad on Craigslist and yeah. said. We can make some amazing cakes, and we actually had some people call us and thought, mm -hmm. let's start a business and call it Amazing Cakes. Yep. We thought Amazing Cakes because A is the first letter of the alphabet, and it's the first one that pops up on Google search. Right. <laughs> Tell us about your food in industry experiences, culinary schools, jobs, cooking classes, self-taught, etc. Oh, Lord. We watch a lot of Food Network. Yeah. 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 I grew, grew up watching that. Um, I worked in the kitchen at a nursing home, worked at a grocery store as a cashier. Uh, I was a hostess server at Damon's for a brief <laughs> period in freshman college year. Yeah. That's about, about it. it. Do you have any other pastry or baking experiences besides cakes? Like pies, cookies, chocolates, um, etc.? We make some really awesome pudding shots mm -hmm. that <laughs> all of our friends ask for when we go tubing yes. in the summer. They are amazing for any birthday get together, <laughs> any kind of event where we play cards. Right. Um, we can do some cookies. We can do some brownies. Mm -hmm. um, I make some pie every year for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Anything. Um, I make the the sugar cookies with that with the the royal icing yep. that, that gets that nice uh, coating on Smooth. the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much anything. Yeah. Do you have a team name? Uh, yeah. <laughs> team kick ass. Because we kick ass. Yeah! <laughs> what is your relationship with your teammate? She's my sister from another mister. And another missus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've known each other since college. We've been best friends for 12 years. Yeah, we, we fell in love over the Chinese food at the mall cafeteria. In between college classes. Yep. <laughs> Describe your relationship. How you get along, how you met, or you already talked about how you met. Yeah. <laughs> we fell in love in the mall cafeteria. <laughs> oh, we get along really well. I mean, we, we butt heads. We have very similar personalities. We were both born in the same month, so we, you know, we're both Aries. We're both, you know, kind of dominant. Yeah. E extroverted personalities but you know if she's making me mad I tell her and if I'm being dumb she tells me so it's perfect. Well, it's a yin and yang. Right. Oh three questions or three sentences. Oh, you you yeah, went over. Too much, mm -hmm. sorry. We'll shorten one other one. Yeah. How do you work as a team? Oh probably the best person I can work with. Right. We don't have any trouble. Yeah. We get mad but we'll Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Next. 
Describe your roles in the kitchen. Who's going to do what during the challenge? Oh, wow. Um, she's usually the piper. I usually um, am molding flowers, cutting flowers out. Um, we both do structure. Mm -hmm. You have to. Yeah, we work together well for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Would you ever open a, up a bakery storefront together or go into business together? I absolutely want to. Yeah, that's why we're here. We want to so bad to be able to do something that we enjoy and we can bring our families to and make it our place. Would you be willing to relocate if necessary? Why or why not? Uh, I would relocate for the two months. <laughs> that's no problem. We really want to stay here in Midland and build our company here. This is a, a growing, bustling town. It's one of the best towns in the state to raise a family. I don't want to leave. What have been some of your team's struggles in life and pursuing your dreams? Money. M money. Um, money is a big one up here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's the, the financial stability here in the Midland area. Uh, we have great jobs, I think, for young 30s we do well for ourselves but um that extra small business is just hard to get and hard mm -hmm. to obtain right how would you describe your personalities oh i am stubborn ready to go busy all the time little ocd going yeah um Everybody tells me that I'm a ditz and they laugh at me, but you are. no, it's all right. No, it's okay. It, it's usually when I drink more alcohol than than not. Um, but you know, at the same point, I'm I'm a go getter too. What makes your team tick? Our, team. Our families. Absolutely. That's what keeps us going. I have two young kids in dance and basketball and baseball and you have daycare and formula and right. diapers and we want to go to the movies, we need to find that money somewhere. Right. How would your friends and toughest critics describe you in one word? Mm. Us as a group? Um, funny. Fabulous. Less. Totes. Learn that from Gregory. Totes. Totes. Totally. Oh. Love it. Yes. Would you agree with them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're team kick ass. Woo. I'm getting empty, guys. <laughs> Tell us something that would surprise us about your team. Uh, special talents, affiliations. Better. Oh. Um, every year we donate to the Literacy Foundation of Midland. Um, they throw a great dessert party on Fat Tuesday, and it is a fantastic fundraiser. Okay. And we've done it the last three years, mm -hmm. and it's just a great, great thing to be involved in. And they raise a ton of money and fill the place up. It's really amazing. Show, can you show us any talents? Show us any talents? Show us. Well, we can get men to pour our wine for us. There you Does go. that work? That's a talent. That is. What types of people, things, push your buttons and why? Oh, hypocrites. Piss me off. Oh, I hate lazy people. Drives me batshit crazy <laughs> when they are lazy. Oh. Why? Well, why? Get off your ass and do something. And don't tell me you're going to do something and not do it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Becca, can you pull him so his head's on the road, please? Just How would you rate your team's skill level on all aspects of baking and decorating? Beginner, intermediate, expert? Thank you, sweetie. I would go intermediate. Right. We've I, learned a lot. Oh, yeah. I, there's a lot we have to learn still. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I wouldn't call us experts. We're not professionally trained pastry chefs. We're, we're homegrown bakers. Yeah. What are you best at and worst at? To do with the same question. Oh, I, I think I'm um, better at the frosting, the icing. Right. I, yeah, she's definitely better. I'm, I'm better with the sculpting. 
the detail, right? The molding of the flowers. Yeah. yeah. How elaborate and creative are your designs? Any special skills like three D sculptured cakes, uh, pyrotechnics, sugar work, huge tiered cakes? Um, our actually our very first cake was a six tier. Yeah, it was a six tier square cake. It done was. for a winter wonderland wedding um, oh my god it was gigantic and it was it was it was covered in sparkles it took us forever to do it gum paste snowflakes hand yep. cut it was it was beautiful but it was one of the biggest yep. cakes we've ever done i i love the challenge though and you know if i can push it with my client i will go mm -hmm. as far as i can yep how will your team handle the elimination challenges? Can you work well under time constraints and pressure? Explain. Yeah, I think we can work great over, you know, with the, the cake challenge that we have in the video. We, we knocked that cake out in less than three minutes. Yep. We've, I mean, you have to juggle. We have kids. We have life. You have to get it done in time. You can't dilly-dally, take your time. Right. I guarantee fresh cakes, and that's what we do. Right. And we get it done. I mean, right. We don't mess around. If something, yeah. something's got to get done, we get it done. We're team kick ass. What type of kitchen behavior pisses you off when you're baking and trying to get the job done? Oh, sloppiness. Kids asking for bites of cake. Oh, <laughs> when's dinner? Oh, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh, but I've been watching the show, and God help the people that leave the unholy tornado-like messes. Right. Wow. You have to clean up as you go along, otherwise oh. it's How do you just, even know what's like going chaos. on? Yeah. Describe your team's competitive nature. What kind of competitor would you be on this show? Please explain. We're team kick-ass. What yeah. else is there to explain? <laughs> exactly. We're go-getters. Get it done. What will your team do to win and why? Oh. We'll do whatever it takes. Whatever challenge Buddy has to throw at us, I'm not afraid. We're not going to cheat like in season three. Mm. Might be a touchy subject. Oh. Yeah. yeah. How far will your, will your team go? We're going to go all the way. All we the have way. a husband and a fiance staying at home with our kids, and we better make it worth it, <laughs> or we're going to owe them something big at the end of eight weeks. <laughs> That's true. I messed that question up. Okay. Read it. <laughs> How far will your team go? Give examples. Look at the camera and give us the, your message to your comp competition. The other teams who are trying to get your spot on the show. Oh. Oh. Don't mess with Team Kick Ass because we're on it. We're coming to get you. Mm. And we will learn everything Buddy has to tell us. You gotta listen. And we've been taking notes on all the seasons. I know that you need to measure those cake stands before you go through a doorway. And you better fill the cupcake wrapper if you're making one for Buddy. You've seen competition shows on a lot of these shows. There are clear types of competitors. The sweetheart, the drama queen, the A type A bitchy type. Who is your who is your team and why? How will you fit into the cast? Um, we're funny. We're just we're we're like the class clowns, but we love to make people laugh. But don't mess with us. And we're gonna laugh at each other the whole time. It just we, we're not bitchy. I, we're not. No, I'd rather have fun and make it a memorable experience. Absolutely. How will you fit into the cast? Oh, we're going to fit perfect. There's not very many people we don't get along with. No, we'll fit perfect once everybody else has been eliminated, too. Oh! <laughs> That's my five-month-old. <laughs> Why do you want to be on the show? How badly do you need this opportunity? I'd love to be on the show. It's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. <clears throat> How badly do we need this? Uh, it's what we want to do with our lives, with our families. I I want to be able to 
be my own boss and teach my children how to be creative and support themselves. Um, I want to be on the show to get out of where I'm at. I was injured about a year ago and it's an injury I'll have for ever. And it's, it's hard to come home and tell your husband and your kids that you can't, can't do anything or you need extra help and I, I don't want to do that anymore. I, I need this to be financially secure to get out and be safe. Okay. What will happen if you're not selected? Um, in all reality, life will continue on the way we've been going. Um, we both work full-time jobs, we both raise our families, but we're both striving to open a bakery and be independently employed. Um, if we're not selected, it'll just happen a little bit slower. Yep, we're going to do it. We're going to do it whether we have the show or whether we don't. Why is your team going to win? What have you got that others don't? I think we're going to win because we have determination and we are leaving a lot behind and it's scary mm -hmm. and we need a reason to be there and you're going to see us in the finale wherever that may be this season and I'm so excited for it and we have family stacked up and friends who are already making meal charts for our husband and fiance. It's we have to be proud, and we have to make them proud. Yep. Cut. Was that everything? Yeah. Well, that was all the questions we 